Hello and uh, thanks again for tuning in. Ignore that noise, it's f***ing builders again. Anyway, I am off work the whole week, um, which is both good and bad. Good because um, I am fed up with work and need a break, and bad because there's not really much to do. Um, but I am going to try and make the most of it. Today, the weather forecast is looking pretty good, although at the minute it is really cloudy, but I'm hoping that clears up and becomes sunny a bit later on. But tomorrow in particular is looking amazing. First thing is first though, I'm going to have something to eat and uh, then get started with the day. So stay with me and I will show you what I'm up to. Right, hopefully you can hear me. Um, I'm about seven miles in now and uh, it's going quite well. It's a really, really nice day. Like, I think it's the first proper nice sunny day we've had all year, pretty much, as far as I can remember anyway. Here we are, it's uh, 13 miles in roughly, um, and it's just gone half one in the afternoon. I was a bit delayed getting out, but I'm glad I waited because the weather is amazing. I think it's probably the nicest day of the year. It's almost perfect cycling conditions with the tiniest wind, um, but the temperature is brilliant. It must, I think it's about 17 degrees or 18 degrees Celsius, um, and it's you know proper short and t-shirt weather. The plan roughly is a 32 mile uh, ride to Henley, uh, a bit of a loop back and then uh, towards home. It's a relatively flat route as all routes are around here pretty much but the idea today is just to enjoy it because I needed to get out of the house. Um, being on leave all week with no plans, I just need to do something. Um, so this is far better than just sat at home doing nothing really. The other thing I really want to do is uh, go swimming this week. Um, about 20 miles from where I live, um, I found out there's an outdoor swimming pool. From tomorrow, they are accepting bookings and uh, it's a 50 meter pool as well. So. I'm going to try and book for tomorrow morning um, because I've not swam now for over six months since uh, my first triathlon. So I'm really keen just to experience it again, see see where I'm at, how much work I've got to do, which I'm sure there's tons because I'm, I was already a weak swimmer. So yeah, brilliant day, amazing weather. I wish it was like this all the time to be honest with you. But um, anyway, let's get back on with the ride and I will catch up with you in a bit. Okay, made it to Henley. Um, 16 or 17 miles in roughly, and um, I'm gonna stop here for a few minutes just to have a break, have something to eat, and just enjoy the nice weather. Um, like I said uh, in the previous clip, it's an um, absolutely amazing day. It just makes cycling so much more enjoyable. Um, I struggle with it at the best of times on the road. I find it quite, uh, uh, what's the word, quite miserable when, it's on, when I'm on my own. Uh, windy, rainy, but today it's it's just amazing and I wish it was like this all the time because if it was I would be out every day probably but yes, uh, I'm going to stay here, I might have a coffee, I don't know but um, I'll see how I feel and um, yeah, I'm just going to go and sit on the grass over here for a bit and um, have a break Well, I've just left Henley uh, about a mile back there. Uh, I've been cycling for about five or ten minutes, roughly. It was a bit of a ball late to get out because you saw the heavy traffic. Um, so getting over that bridge, uh, navigating the streets took a little while, but um, it was a small price to pay for going through there because it was worth it with the nice weather, the river, sitting by the river for a little while and uh, just having a break, really. Um, I'm on this really nice country road with this um, lovely scenery in the background. Um, 15 miles back home, uh, I'm going to take it very leisurely, not going to push it too hard. Probably going to take me about an hour and a half because I am very, very slow, but that's fine, I'm not in a rush. Um, yeah, and that's it. I will bring you back uh, in about 
20 minutes or 30 minutes when I'm closer to home. Okay, this is the last stop I think, uh, only um, 4 miles, 4.3 miles from home and um, I, I've enjoyed the ride and I'm pretty happy it's not too much longer or too much further I should say. I just find cycling really really difficult, I just have no strength, I think I just need to practice more or get out on a bike more. Um, if I get a turbo trainer in the next few months when I move house then that will open up options but at the minute I have to go out um, outside which you know is ridiculous to complain about. Yeah I really really need to do more cycling I think because uh, I'm just so poor at it I find it very difficult um, very little power and not much endurance either um, but then I can't really be surprised by that because you know I'm running four or five times a week yet I'm cycling probably once a week if I'm lucky so that goes to show you if I'm not if you're not training hard on that particular thing then you're not going to get better at it are you so I think I just need to suck it up train a bit more on cycling, put more effort in and be more consistent and I should get better but in the back of my head my aim for this year was an Olympic triathlon but really it is a 70.3 that I'm aiming for that's the that's the main aim really and I was looking at early next year and I did think about this year but I'm just not there yet I think swimming aside swimming is an issue but biking is as well 56 miles isn't that far but you know if I I should be able to do that routinely and then on top of that I've got a half marathon and I'm just not at that point but the cycling part I just need to improve on. So yeah any tips let me know uh, especially for myself that uh, hasn't got a turbo trainer and can't get a turbo trainer um, I'd be really interested in your um, thoughts and your advice. Uh, just got home about 10 minutes ago and had a shower just having a drink and uh, trying to recover with some food um, overall a really really good ride and uh, like I said a couple of times in the video the weather was just amazing um, also the roads the route that I picked today um, by pure uh, chance really was was brilliant um, other than the uh, immediate area where I live which is really built up as soon as you get out um, there was loads of country roads which I went on which were really quiet, not much traffic at all and they're, they're really really good surfaces. Um, so I'll put the stats on the screen here but 35.3 uh, miles, uh, 2100 um, feet in elevation and an average speed of 14.1 miles per hour. Um, I was out for probably over 3 hours I think but moving time of 2 hours 30 minutes. Um, I said in a previous clip, if I've included it, I don't know how it turned out, but I said in a previous clip that my cycling, it, cycling is, is really poor. I just have no, uh, no power and I seem to have no endurance as well. Um, and thinking about it, it's, it's quite obvious why. It's because I don't do enough of it. If I compare it to running, I run maybe uh, four times a week um, and I have run four times a week pretty much for over a year now and I've got much much better at it but cycling I'll be lucky if I do one ride a week which says which says it all really I haven't got a turbo and I can't get a turbo where I live now but if if and when I move in a couple of months time I will get a turbo and that will open up so many options and I will make a massive effort to uh, to get onto it you know three three times a week at least and also get out on the road as well and I'll hope to get see some improvement from that I think I will leave the video there for now uh, nothing else to nothing else going on today um it's just gone 4 p.m. so I'm probably just gonna edit this video and uh, lounge around for a bit but um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time bye for now